you know, every year you kind of reevaluate where you're at. And uh, I just think now it's time. My body's slowing down a lot. Um, getting out of bed is getting very difficult in the morning. You know, I'm just ready to kind of get to that next phase in my life. You know, it's, it's never easy, and I've been there when you've decided to, you know, be retire as a player and, you know, something that you've been doing your whole life. And I hope he, uh, you know, understands that uh, he had a really great career. You know, he's uh, earned a lot of my respect in terms of how he looks at the game, how he approaches the game, and, you know, the type of player he was. He was a very good player. You know, he really made other guys in the field better. He really, uh, you know, stepped on the field wanting to win for the good of the team. You know, he's one of the guys that when I'm playing, you know, he'll go out and make sure I get a good warm up in, make sure I'm getting balls to, to cross in and giving me last minute advice. And His ability to embrace guys and, and really let them know we find this place very special, we have expectations and, uh, you know, he very quickly in his own subtle way, I feel like gets guys excited about playing here because uh, of the approach to the game and the approach he has to uh, dealing with the players. You know, he's a good veteran player and he, you know, know knows the game pretty well and and he's not afraid to, to speak up and kind of help out some of the younger guys. The biggest thing is you're missing a player that can come and talk to young players, especially when young guys are going through periods of frustration or maybe their confidence drops. You know, Kevin's been through it all, so. Kevin is, is one of the, <laughs> one of the few cerebral footballers around. So he thinks the game a lot, um, very well organized. He knows how to manage the game very well. Um, and, and those kind of smarts are invaluable at times when he's on the field. I think I'll miss that the most is, you know, just another guy that is knowledgeable about other players and, and teams in the league. I, you know, look back at my career and have done a lot of things and enjoyed every moment of it and have no regrets. A couple moments that stand out for my career, I think, um, the 2005 Open Cup run where we were kind of this underdog that went through and knocked off quite a few MLS teams. and. That was a great run in 2007 when we brought the Galaxy here. And when David Beckham first came to Minnesota, uh, we had about 24,000 people at the Metrodome. Obviously the finals both in 2011 and, and 2012. And, and more so from those games, I think the home leg of those finals. Those two games specifically really provides the imagery for what this club has stood for. And those moments going over and singing, you know, Wonderwall with the fans in 2011 or last year when um, Connor went sliding into the boards and the boards all fell over and all the fans spilled onto the field. I, I think, you know, those are moments where, you know, you kind of look back and it's like, oh, that was pretty cool. You know, there's a lot of turnover kind of every year from players and stuff, but there's been a good core group of guys and yeah, Kevin's the only one on the team that's been here longer than I have. You know, it's um, rare that you get to spend such a long time in, in one place with one club. You know, that's something I'm grateful for. And, and I've been here and I've been through it all as a player. I mean, Minnesota has become a very big part of my life. And when I came here 10 years ago, I did not plan on staying for 10 years. Being from California, I was hesitant to come in the first place, um, as I think a lot of players are. But what I found is I like Minnesota. I like the cities. I like, you know, the culture that the cities have. And I don't know, I feel like at this point, it's almost synonymous with uh, Minnesota soccer, so. He's embraced uh, Minnesota and the people and, and you know, really has made uh, you know, a life here that he wants to continue to live here and be a part of uh, you know, our, our soccer community and the soccer culture in this club. I think I'm going to miss a little bit of the competition every day. You know, I'm a competitive person. I think you have to be to, to do this for so long. But also the banter uh, with the guys. I love talking shit with the rest of them. And I think uh, it's fun to come in every day and, and kind of have that escape with the locker room. Just the banter, which goes back and forth, is, is just a lot of fun. You know, it's a lot of fun. And, you know, I don't think there's anyone better in the locker room uh, or in the club. I mean, I lived with him uh, throughout the fall and winter and just how many different things he was doing, um, especially at a point in the club where it was like, why are we going to exist or not? The little things he does, if you have any questions, um, you know, he's always here early, uh, whether it's front office questions, are you getting your paychecks this week, you know, uh, he does a little bit of everything. I think we wouldn't have been at the point where Bill Maguire would have bought the club had it not have been for a lot of the stuff that Kevin Friedland did off the field. When we lost the final last year and we were in Tampa, um, and we lost some penalties and obviously everyone was, was really down and sad and guys were 
you know, kind of unsure if that meant that was it. You know, there was not going to be a team the following year. Uh, Commissioner Downs kind of came in and wanted to tell us that we had something to be proud of and, you know, something to keep our heads held high, which was, you know, we, we found an owner. Obviously, I was torn up that we had lost the final, but yet even had we won the final, I think it was that moment was, was bigger than that. It's a nice ending that, you know, we have this transition this year where we're, I think we have a better vision than we've ever had for soccer in the future, and, and Kevin certainly has helped us get to that point. You know, now with the new name and the new ownership, like this year is, it's just been unbelievable with the, you know, they we feel like we're loved. Um, we have bigger fan support. I was fortunate to see the dark clouds grow from, you know, 15 guys to a couple hundred. And I think they have helped set the culture of this club and they help with the groundwork of, of this club. I really feel uh, it's celebrating a culture that, you know, in a lot of ways is a big part of. I think he's uh, an example of uh, you know, showing people how to do things the right way and he's made a lot of people better as soccer players and he was a darn good soccer player himself. With his attributes he certainly, uh, I think the game would be poorer for him if he didn't stay within it. From an organisational perspective if he decides to move on then we we'll miss a fella who's put his heart and soul into the, into the organisation to this point. I've played with so many guys over the years and, and coaches. I've, played for all four coaches that we've had in Minnesota's history here and you know I think they would just expect me to kind of say thank you drop the mic and and walk out Kevin great stuff you know congratulations on a great career Muzzle tough <laughs>